Conestoga has a competitive academic environment. It's something we can take pride in and can be intimidated by. With life at Stoga changing fast, it's important to bear in mind exactly how the students are working through it all. I spoke with students and specialists on the state of mental health at Conestoga, from AP classes to Work Well Wednesdays. While a few are unhappy with the school's COVID policies, my mental health has been severely affected as the school's radical leftist views have pushed the mask on us. Most are happy to be back in school after last year. It's definitely better than it was last year with online school. Being back in school has helped a lot. Um, no, I'm just glad to be back in school after last year, which kind of impacted my mental health was being home. I think something that's really helpful are my friends and all the people I'm like able to interact with, especially after being virtual all last year. So that's really something good to get back into. That's not to say there's no stress, though, especially at this time of year. It's, but it's like end of the semester, so college will get their stuff soon. But like, I feel like things are going to happen better next week because I don't have to worry about grades as much. It's going relatively well, but it's the middle of the school year, so it's kind of getting tough. And yeah, but with the new semester coming up, I feel like it's getting better. I asked the school psychologists when they saw students having the most trouble. <laughs> it ramps up at around Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and it is super high in January, February, March, and then it starts to get a little bit better in the like spring. Around now, things really start to ramp up. You're really starting to get into the school year. You're really starting to get into tests. You're starting to get into a flow of how teachers want different things. Things are starting to build upon each other and get harder, too. There's like a twofold. Like the winter, you know, the days are shorter. It's darker outside quicker. But there's also the level of now things are becoming more real in school. And so you start to kind of see the holes in where students might need some help. When they are struggling, though, most students felt comfortable asking for support. Um, I think getting help helps me because it gives me somebody else to like hold me accountable for things. Um, so yeah, usually I'll go to my teachers or guidance. Uh, personally, I feel like I have a lot of options to talk to. I have a lot of friends and I feel like the counseling staff is very helpful. So I personally find it all very, very well. Um, I do have very supportive teachers, especially um, a lot of the IEP teachers at this school and Mrs. Kratza and Mrs. Karosher, they're all really helpful to me for that. When I asked if there was anything students thought should change, I did start to notice a pattern. Is there anything that the school does that helps you decompress, or do you feel comfortable talking to teachers if you need help, that kind of thing? Like, I think the asynchronous days last year, like the Wellness Wednesdays, were really nice to like catch up on anything we were behind on and just plan out for the rest of the week. And I think if they did re-implement those, that would help. Um, I, I personally like the idea of Work Well Wednesdays. I thought those were pretty efficient last year. So if they brought those back, that'd be helpful. I definitely really like the Work Well Wednesdays. Like, those really helped me a lot, especially last year. So I'd love for those to come back. <laughs> There's always room for improvement, and it's up to students and administrators to work together for the sake of mental health at Conestoga. And I think that sometimes mental health isn't very much like paid attention to in school, and I think it's definitely something important that should be. For The Spoke, I'm Zach Rajanis.